Alrighty then. Hello, Crime Stoppers. So, interesting. Uh, we've got a bull market in the weed sector, and all of a sudden, Jeff Sessions says boo. <laughs> Literally says boo. Because what do you say? Okay, we're well, we going to rescind the uh, coal thing, which basically just says that uh, federal prosecutors in various states have discretion to prosecute weed law. Uh, that's it. Most of them said, okay, so they haven't been prosecuting it. They will continue to not prosecute it. Further, they never got any money from Congress. This is much ado about nothing when you get right down to it. Um, but it's very interesting that it comes right now, right in the beginning of the bull market, when all these stocks were just about to take off. Uh, the day before that, there was a bear run in the, or a bear raid where we saw a lot of uh, what I believe. And like I said, just got no way to prove it, but it looked like naked shorting to me. Um, hmm. And then the next day after that, Jeff Sessions comes out and says, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm resending this thing. Okay. So what? Um, even if he does, the, you, I can post article after article about how Congress basically defunded the feds from being able to even do anything in the States. Uh, and all it did was give these guys leeway. Now there is like, now there's like screaming about, uh, you know, get rid of Jeff Sessions and fire Jeff Sessions and so forth. And he kind of brought it on himself, but it seems like he's, uh, going to be a sock puppet over here. It's like, Oh, okay. And then knowing Trump. Trump will, there's a possibility, this is one theory, this is just theory, I'm not saying this is what's going to happen, but, uh, you know, Trump comes in and saves the day. The, the man with the ego who uh, used to be a game show, oh well, reality TV show host and uh, so on, will come in and naughty old Jeff Sessions was going to come after your marijuana and then Trump will use some kind, and this is the other thing, Trump doesn't know dick about do, right? So, uh, but Jeff Sessions, on the other hand, a, a successful, yeah, successful lawyer in uh, Alabama, uh, prosecutor, and uh, the silent executioner, and the attorney general of the state of Alabama, and a fucking senator, and now attorney general, uh, and yeah, he's acting odd, very, very odd. Uh, but take a look at the flow chart, and if you take a look at what's going on with the IG, oh shoot, I can't put the flow chart I put it on, should have put it on a tablet or something so I could hold it up. But uh, if you look at how uh, it works, Jeff's a little kind of down. Mueller and Jeff, they're you know they're not they're not that high up on the totem pole. Um, so there's a lot of things Jeff doesn't need to do because uh, Horowitz is doing it for him actually, or you know instead of him. Um, but the idea is that the uh, pharmaceutical companies and the military industrial complex, I think they made a phone call and said, "Hey Jeff." Uh, <laughs> You know, do something. These guys are going to get rich on their marijuana stocks. Slow this thing down. Uh, and also, you know, f fuel. It threatens their beer, for God's sakes. Pharmaceuticals. Uh, are you kidding me? There is a huge amount of money lined up to try and slow this thing down as much as possible. Like, they know they can't stop it, but they can at least slow it down, right? And they can certainly stop the money from flowing into stocks so that uh, the sector grows, right? Uh, a lot of weed stocks got hammered today. Some of them recovered, but most of them got hammered. Like some of them down like, you know, 50% or more after just being on great runs. Um, and I expect more of that. But I also expect, expect next week, um, I, I, like I said, this is just smacks of a show. Just smacks of theater. Just smacks of Jeff's going to be blah, blah, blah. And then Trump's going to be blah, blah, blah. And then, right? I can't prove that, but uh, we'll see what happens in the next uh, week or two. So, they, uh, and then we're talking about this. Uh, nobody's talking about the fact that uh, the FBI opened another investigation into the Clinton Foundation. And then just so happens yesterday, kaboom at the Clinton household in uh, Arkansas. Hmm. Like an explosion and everything. So uh, they find out they're under investigation and uh, they blow shit up. And uh, there's a fire. And maybe the pedal room went up too. Who knows? Uh, but I mean, what? I mean, it's just, who, what? Oh, Hillary Clinton called the rules. She, she, she says she thinks you're stupid. Uh, can, can you believe this woman? I cannot believe this woman. It's, it's amazing. Uh, just brazen, just as brazen as it gets. Um, 
there seems to be some evidence uh, that uh, they really are going to do an actual investigation. It also looks very much like Mueller uh, was put together a team of partisan Democrats, got them together, set them loose, and sure enough, they broke the law, and so many occasions, it's going to be fun. Uh, there is rumor that says about 30 uh, people in our Congress, House and Senate, aren't coming back after winter break. Um, there's more rumor that says, and there's actually, there you can uh, check it, flights to Guantanamo, lots of them. Uh, and then there seems to be quite a bit of rumor about, you know, people being rounded up and uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. The indictments are not being unsealed. I mean, there are still going on almost 10,000 indictments sealed. Uh, the normal would be like a thousand maybe in a year, the whole year. These indictments have come since like Halloween, like 27 October, right around there, uh, till now. There are close to 10,000 indictments. Uh, there are huge rumors that, uh, you know, the Marines are going to, oh, did you notice that there was a little news story about 44,000 Marines missing or 44,000 military personnel missing? They ain't missing. Uh, our military keeps track of those things. Um, it looks like it's going to be a worldwide operation, kids. It, I mean, this is looking pretty interesting, right? This is like year two, Fortress America, right? America, the, the soap opera. It is the best thing ever. Uh, you can't write this shit because if you wrote this shit, no one would believe you. I mean, it is crazy what's going on right in front of our eyes. And we got this huge group of people that can't even figure out uh, what the hell's going on, right? I mean, you can't even get these people to uh, wake up and smell the roses. Cause like, take this Tegan thing. Chrissy Tegan and uh, John Legend. Um, Liz p puts out a couple tweets and it turns into this whole thing. Well, let's see, nobody read the tweets. Nobody read the tweets from Chrissy, uh, it appears. You should read the tweets, you can find those tweets. Um, not flattering, not, I mean, got some explaining to do there. At the very least, got some explaining. Uh, Liz never once said you were a pedophile, just said, what the hell, right? But never claimed, I mean, never just like said you should, you know, use your fame and stardom to, uh, help fight this problem, not make fun of it, more or less. And, uh, it turned into this whole other thing. Hmm. I think thou doth protest too much. And then comes, uh, this thing with Ellen talking about how she's, uh, you know, not part of the deep state uh, when it comes to being the only person that got the guy from Vegas to come and talk. He didn't go on a talk. I mean, he didn't go on a news talk show. He didn't go on CNN. He didn't go on TV uh, for, you know, CBS, NBC, ABC, many news shows. Uh, how about MSNBC? I mean, there's about a bajillion places. He, nope. He went on Ellen DeGeneres. Hmm. And then just lots of things don't add up with that one there. Um, and then there, too, I mean, dude, we, we see you guys. We see you. We see that uh, nobody gets on, barely anybody gets on TV that isn't part of the uh, club. Uh, and it looks like the club is panicking in way, I mean, basically, basically, what do we have? We have the Kazarian Mafia, uh, and we have Faction A and Faction B in this Mafia. Uh, Trump is in Faction B. Um, these are the ones that make war and profit off of war and uh, bomb children to little pieces in the Middle East, and those are the good guys, apparently, in some people's minds. Um, and they're going after Faction A, the Satanist pedophiles that rape babies and sell their organs. And, oh, we get to find out finally. And the truth is just ugly, ugly, ugly. That, uh, so I buried it here in the middle of the video, not toward the beginning, because I, I was going to leave this, but I decided, you know what? No. Um, so they rape these children, babies, the younger the better, as it turns out. Uh, and then, well, some of them, they, they, it depends on the, the, uh, sect. It depends on the ritual. It depends on a lot of things. So they don't just kill every single one of them every single time. 
But uh, more often than not, uh, depending on the ritual, again, and depending on the sect, they rape the baby and then they uh, take out the adrenal glands that are full of adrenaline from being raped and screaming and so forth. And that is walnut sauce. Because when you harvest the adrenals, uh, it looks, that very much looks like walnut. And it's even dark colored and so forth. Uh, adrenochrome, look it up. Uh, that's what they're addicted to. It's the same thing as the guys that like to jump off cliffs and do parachuting and all those uh, adrenaline junkies. Yeah, except the wealthy, they don't want to, you know, jump out of planes and do all that kind of stuff. So they just suck adrenochrome, uh, which is walnut sauce. The, the uh, slang for it is walnut sauce. And where do you get it? You get it from the adrenal glands of living, or uh, well, sacrificed humans. They're dead by the time you get done with them. And then, see, a lot of times, they'll take these babies from war zones, Philippines, Indonesia, any place where there's been, uh, you know, Haiti, where there, any place where there's been natural disaster or war, all through Korea and so forth, do the uh, DNA testing. Uh, and then find matches either on the black market or, you know, launder it and make it look like it's on the white market. Uh, you get one of these kids or one of these uh, children, uh, that's a sex slave. The match comes up, the kid is sacrificed. Uh, that's the one that's chosen for the sacrifice so that they'll take it, um, do the most atrocious things and then harvest the organs and then make money on that too. Organs are worth 20 grand. I mean, it's big business. I mean, the whole thing is just, it's industry, it's big business, and it's disgusting business, and it needs to come to a fucking end. And to have Jeff Sessions come out after medical marijuana, when this kind of shit's going on, this is not conspiracy theory, uh, is an affront at the very least. I don't see, um, there could be a plan here, like I said, there because this could be more stealth Jeff uh, are we talking about pedophilia? Are we talking about uh, Guantanamo and uh, the flights there? Are we talking about uh, martial law? Are we talking about the fact that uh, Trump has declared an emergency? Are we talking about all the uh, executive orders that we can uh, see going on from uh, Trump when it comes to child trafficking and so forth? And somebody said, oh, what if this is just a distraction from something else? Well, so what? You know what? We'll get to that something else. Let's get after the pedophiles. I can't think of anything more important than protecting the, the weakest among us, the babies, the children. It's uh, And if he is uh, using it as a distraction from something more nefarious, we'll get to that thing later. But let's get these pedophiles first. In fact, to the point where I'm willing to sacrifice. Like, I lost money today over this stupid thing, right? Because I'm invested in the marijuana sector uh, in the stock market. But you know what? I'll take the hit. Uh, if he goes after the pedophiles, but if he's gonna let these fucking satanic pedophiles that rape babies and harvest their fucking organs and take and cut their adrenal glands out of them while they're screaming, and that makes them scream more, obviously, and they they eat that, they suck that uh, walnut sauce. If he's gonna let these fuckers walk around uh, while he's talking about going after or you know increasing the uh, federal government's discretion to prosecute medical marijuana or marijuana users in various states that have already made it legal. Um, no. Uh, but the short answer is, I'm thinking that this is theater. It looks like theater to me. It looks like there's, it's got, there's some kind of theater going on here. It absolutely looks like we've got, you know, sock puppet number one, and you guys are going to be all nice and distracted while something else is going on. Uh, but it very much looks like Trump is, in fact, rounding up pedophiles and, uh, doing the Sun Tzu thing, would you rather be prosecuted for this or would you rather be prosecuted for that? And they always pick not pedophilia, right? They'll be prosecuted for anything else, but not pedophilia. Um, but I don't think, because too many of us know about it, too many of us know about it, I don't think that uh, they're going to get away with not being found out. And a lot of people, it turns out, are involved in this shit. Oh my God. Uh, and a lot of people knew about it. But uh, understand that uh, these guys have it down to the point where, one, they have to warn you. They have to tell you first, right? And if you don't get out of the way, your fault. Not Their, their, their karma is clean as far as that. If they tell you they're going to fuck you and you don't get out of the way, you're bad. Not their bad. Um, so when it comes to the marijuana, if uh, they tell you, okay, we're going to, right? And you don't, all right, change the fucking laws then. Congress, get off your ass and change the damn laws. Uh, hmm, because, again, their karma is clean. 
uh, they're not out there arresting citizens. And when I say they, I'm talking about Rothschilds and Carnegies and, and Rockefellers and, uh, you know, the royal family, the Saudi Arabian princes. They're not out there at gun. They're not even paying for it. They profit off of it. But they're not out there uh, arresting people, right? We are, right? Those cops, that's us. That's your brothers and sisters, brothers and fathers and so forth. They're the ones arresting other people and putting them in cages. Who's guarding the prisons? Is it the elite? Are there any elite guarding prisons? The hell no, they wouldn't take that job. Who guards the prisons? We do. Again, they're not, right? They don't pay for that. They don't pay the salaries for that. They don't even pay the salaries. They profit off of that, right? It doesn't cost them anything. They're not paying anybody to uh, guard us uh, when they throw us in prison for ridiculously, right? That one, was it Brock? goes out and rapes that woman, gets off in six months. If he had had an ounce of weed to that state, he would get 10 years mandatory. So cool to stick your dick where it doesn't belong, but not cool to smoke a flower that God put on the planet. Hmm. If you believe that way, if that's your paradigm. But I mean, this stuff grows up out of the ground and it was here before us and it'll probably be here after us. But uh, smoking that is 10 years. And raping a woman is six months because he's a swimmer. Fuck that guy. And his parents, too, for raising a monster like that. But, I mean, that's the society we're living in. Right? Who else but satanic pedophiles would set up a society where smoking a flower got you ten years and raping a woman? You may not even get charged at all. You may not even go to jail. Right? If you look, look at the rape statistics, it's crazy. Uh, but if you do go to court and you get convicted, six months, a year, four years, right? Shatter a woman's life. There's a whole other thing with that. But I mean, for God's sakes, really? This is the society we, that we have created and live in and won't, I mean, we won't stand up. And just, and this is another thing. Uh, you know, like I said, their karma is clean. Right? We don't we don't even write the laws when you get down to it. I mean, well, they don't even write the laws. We do. They trick us into it. They infiltrated the, looks like they infiltrated the Vatican with pedophilia, infiltrated our law enforcement, our judges, our government. They used the pedophilia, the satanic pedophiles, figured out how to just get into government. And uh, when you get down to it, yeah, they blackmail them and so forth. But at the same time, uh, they don't have to write the laws. And so they don't even write the laws that these guys are enforcing, right? All the way down. Their hands are clean. All the way down. From the guy with the, that shoots the, you know, puts the gun in the little kid's face at five in the morning and charges his mother and father with a fucking misdemeanor uh, marijuana charge. Right? A misdemeanor. You're going to put a fucking gun in a child's face. Right? Who else but satanic pedophiles would set this fucking kind of system up? But anyway, uh, that wasn't a Rockefeller. That wasn't a Rothschild. That wasn't the fucking Queen of England that had a gun in that kid's face. That was one of us. So who the fuck is at fault here? Let's uh, let's examine this a little bit with logic and reasoning. Who the fuck is at fault here? Them or us? And you fucking Christians, quit telling me you don't know what to do. Because you know what to do. You see someone over there raping a child, you know what to do. Simple as that. But I mean, we got some, I mean, fucked upness going. I mean, the fuckery, right? What kind of fuckery is this? You have to wake up to the fact that the whole fucking system was set up by satanic pedophiles. And that's why it's so fucked up. Right? I mean, we, we had a good thing going here for a while. And they managed to infiltrate their way in, usurp the whole fucking thing. Right? Talk about U.S. persons in front of you. It's all corporations. And guess what? The state, the corporation cannot uh, move against a sovereign individual, a, a human flesh. They can only move against your straw man. That's a whole other issue. But I mean, it's all corporations. It's the corporation of the United States. And if you hold the office of citizen in that corporation, you owe the fucking tax. If you receive your mail in a federal zone, capital CA, whatever it is, or HI 96732, uh... You're in the federal zone. They presume you're a federal citizen. They presume you're a U.S. person. They presume <laughs> that you owe the tax. Right? Because all this hullabaloo about the tax cut. Uh, read LostHorizons.com. 
You don't owe the tax. You don't owe it. So don't pay it. Pay taxes that you owe. Do not pay taxes that you don't owe. If you send a check for taxes you don't owe, guess what? They're going to cash it. They're not going to tell you, oh, you don't owe this. <laughs> Again, who is feeding the beast? We are. Right? How do these fucking people go into Congress with a $100,000, uh, you know, $200,000 a year compensation package or what is it, 177 or whatever it is that they get? And, you know, 10 years later, they've got, you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 million dollars, 77 million dollars, 150 million dollars, 200 million dollars. Hmm. I mean, come on. And we all know. It's the same thing. You notice in uh, California, perhaps you notice that uh, that whole Me Too thing and sex abuse. There were some monsters there. But as soon as it started looking like they were going to start talking about pedophilia, went silent. Right? As soon as people started tweeting and saying, you know, asking these women, all right, great, I, we, we uh, understand, yes, you uh, sold yourself for huge sums of money and it was disgusting and horrible and you were raped. And uh, now you're a multimillionaire and uh, a famous face. And uh, what about the children? What about the pedophilia? Because, yeah, it happened to you. What about the little boys? What about the little kids? What about the little girls? Oh, you're going to stand silent when it comes to that, right? Because these pedophiles, these satanic pedophiles, yeah, they play for keeps. They really do. But that whole Me Too thing just got completely out of hand. And the Roy Moore thing. Did you, did you notice what's going on? They've already started finding a huge amount of fraud. They freaking swore the guy in anyway. But uh, there seems to be a little bit of an investigation going on over there. I mean, the, the current events in this, in this country are just, it's insane from one end of the spectrum to the other. Satanic pedophiles are running around loose and our fucking attorney general is going after medical marijuana. <laughs> And legalize marijuana in states where the states finally just said, fuck this, we're going to make this legal. The prison system, I mean, if you look at how, I mean, incarceration rate, and most of that, and it's a ridiculous amount of them, as if you take a look at the statistics, I should put some links down there, but you know what, do your own fucking research. Take a look at what the hell uh, it is that we're doing in this country when it comes to marijuana. I mean, it's ridiculous. Like something, 60% of the people that are in prison uh, in this ridiculous bloated prison system that we have, it's for fucking marijuana. Docile, uh, I mean, how, pot smokers. How many violent pot smokers have you ever met? And if you have met a violent pot smoker, I bet you they smoke pot so they're not violent. Because when they're high, they're not violent. And they put these guys in prison. Slave labor. And now we all niggas. We all niggas now, right? Doesn't matter what color you are. Ten years, mandatory. Now, a lot of times they won't prosecute and they won't arrest if you're white. Because uh, I can assure you, I went to a private school where everybody was white, and I was never, ever, when I was with those guys, I was never worried about the cops and getting arrested. Uh, come down country to my local friends, not so much. Uh, fortunately, most of my local friends at that time, they were square. Uh, and we just alcohol and cigarettes. But I mean, if I was at a party with a lot of locals that were smoking, that was, you know, you were cautious because you could get arrested. The rich white kids... Not an issue. Not even a consideration. Nothing was going to happen and everybody knew it. Uh, and that's the way it is in most communities. Still. Don't even fucking kid yourselves. It's a great... I mean, the disparity between... And that's the thing. Selective enforcement is tyranny. It's whatever it is. Uh, we have gotten to the point now where we have absolutely got selective enforcement going on. And we got corporations uh, ruling you. Uh, corporations own your media, corporations own your social platforms, Twitter and Facebook and so forth, and they'll make rules that limit your free speech. Right? We're going to return to the rule of law in this country. We need more blockchain where you write something on the internet and it's there forever. So you better fucking think twice if you're going to put it there. Because 50 years from now, they'll still be able to go back and find it. Right? The way we have it now is that uh, people are deleting shit, right? All over left and right. Uh, I mean, corporations like Twitter are deleting accounts for you, uh, banning people, uh, doing right because of their rules. Uh, the rule of law in this nation is your speech is protected. Uh, I don't give a fuck what your corporation has to say about it. 
And uh, the rule also uh, came down from the Supreme Court. Hate speech is also protected, motherfuckers. Right? PC is just limiting your free speech. What you can and can't say, who you can and cannot criticize, who you can't, right? The words you can and cannot use. That's just limiting your free speech in a friendly, cuddly kind of way. Wrapped up in politically, politically correct language. Right, where they try to make you PC. What fucking bullshit is this? And now corporations telling you, well, our rule says you can't say this on our platform. Right? You can't talk about satanic pedophiles. Uh, you can't say the truth on our platform. Right? We, you, because uh, what? Because uh, my fellow American needs protection from the truth? And the arbiter of that truth is going to be Twitter or Facebook or fucking CNN or Snopes for fuck's sake? Are you kidding me? Right? YouTube is going to protect me from... I'll watch what the fuck I want. Simple as that. Uh, that's the United States. And our government and this authoritarian Trump guy who you think is your friend is all about limiting free speech with this fake news thing. Now, are these people fake news? Absolutely. Uh, we have a media that has done nothing but promulgate fake news for decades. I've talked about it and railed about it and rant after rant, year after year. Going back, the first fucking thing that made me make these videos in the first place was the media calling Ron Paul a racist. Right? And now, now look who's your president. I think I would have rather had Ron Paul than uh, Donald Trump, but that's just me. But anyway, uh, the idea of being is that uh, the media has been lying to you and lying to you and lying to you. And now they're going to try and tell you uh, what's true and what's not. And, uh, you know, the, so uh, the American way, again, when it comes to free market, is all right, fuck Twitter and, and YouTube. Let's make other platforms. Well, you know, fuck it. We'll make our own. That's what, that's what, that's what started off with Twitter and, and uh, YouTube in the, fr in the first place. Well, now that's been co-opted and taken over by people that want to tell you what you can and can't say, right? And, and demonetizing all these different accounts and so on that were coming after Hillary for, for basically breaking the law and being, you know, uh, the, the lawless. I mean, there's not even words for that woman. Uh, anyway, um, but now they're trying to lobby Congress and say, oh, well, no, you can't like gab. You can't have gab. You can't have a free speech place because that's just going to be hate speech. Well, guess what? Fucking hate speech is protected, motherfuckers. Go look at the Supreme Court decision. You don't like it? Don't fucking read it. You don't like it? Don't go to the website. You don't like it? Change the fucking channel. That's the American way. Censorship is not the American way. Book burning is not the American way. Letting Amazon uh, tell you what books you can read is not the American way. Right? This is the only fucking nation on the planet that even has a, an, an idea of what un-American is. There's no un-German. There's no un-Russian. There's no un-Chinese. Right? This is a nation built on ideals. And those things are straight up un-American. And you know the fucking difference. Even if you went to public school for 12 years and got mind washed, you still know the fucking difference. So having a corporation remove something that you wrote because they don't like it, fuck them. Having them remove a video that they don't like because you might tell the truth about Syria or you might tell the truth about uh, what's going on with the drug situation in your neighborhood or, or you know, where the opioids come from. Uh... They don't get to do that. That's straight up un-American. And see, if you had, uh, and like I said, don't fucking tell me. You don't want, know what to do. Right? We have First and Second Amendment here. And, and the reason why we have a Second is in case the First is attacked. And you pussies are trying to figure out how to give up your guns. Because uh, back in the day, the Democrats uh, didn't want you niggas shooting back. Right? So they were all about gun control, making sure the niggas never got guns in their hands because you didn't want those Klansmen getting shot up because when the masks came off, turned out those guys uh, were, you know, important and respected figures in the communities. So they made sure there was gun control. And now they try to, you know... Because the thing that you guys don't seem to understand or what most people don't understand is that the whole thing with the sanctuary city, that's so that they can have their MS-13 guys. Right? So they'll give everybody. Right? 
I mean, the idea is that they, they, right? they'll take down the whole plane just to take out one guy that's on the plane. Right? They, 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 when they operate, they operate with impunity. But they do it in disguise so that you can't figure out the whole thing because the blanket, you, you, it's too much for you to, uh, the conspiracy is too large. Let's put it that way. Uh, so you can't see that the, the policy or the whatever it is uh, that affects a huge portion of the people is actually to benefit this one corner. So that this one piece of the puzzle works with this other piece of the puzzle and works with this other piece of the puzzle uh, to keep you uh, oppressed. To extract as much wealth from you as possible, right? It's not, and it's not always uh, as organized as you might think. It's order from chaos, and I mean that's their freaking motto. Look on your freaking money, <laughs> but I mean the idea is very simple: is that uh, the, it's so vast that you, it's hard to to see how vast it is, even when it just comes down to the corruption of uh, the satanic pedophiles in your government, for example, and how they've infiltrated level after level and in the clergy. And I mean, you know, this whole other religion that was excellent at hiding its existence. Uh, that was the religion of psychopaths and a perfect religion for psychopaths. Uh, and for the longest time, well, to this day, people still are trying to um, deny the fact that it exists, but it exists. These people exist. Uh, again, Amway didn't get everybody, right? A.L. Williams, back in the day, didn't get everybody. Uh, the Jehovah Witnesses didn't get everybody. The Christians didn't get everybody. Uh, quite a few of these satanic pedophiles still remain. They were not converted to Christianity. They were not all damned. They went underground, and then they figured out, and they regrouped, and uh, have resurfaced. And every freaking form of life you can think of, from law enforcement to clergy to judges to senators in this country and other countries to uh, congressmen to court justices, name it. They are uh, part of a club. The moguls of in the titans of industry, the titans of Wall Street and money and banking. That one, that small elite, they have one, that Kazarian mafia across the world. Right, what religion they are, what you know, wh which way they worship Satan or Moloch or Baal or whatever you know, Saturn or the cube or whatever the fuck it is with the occult. Um, they come from all walks of life: Chinese, uh, white, black. I mean, Africans, South Americans, North Americans, Europeans, uh, Middle Easterners, uh, Indians, Indonesians, Filipinos. Fucking name it. The entire planet. There is a mafia, and the, it is so vast, it is hard to wrap your mind around. And the one thing they have in common is the blood sacrifice. They're all humans that do blood sacrifice. And they all basically, if you look at Joseph Campbell's work, it's the hero with a thousand faces, Lucifer, Satan, Jupiter, uh, comes with a million different names, comes with a different, different, all kinds of different religions, but they all believe in this child sacrifice and uh, they all manage to work together and put their differences aside because evil you can't be evil and be stupid evil is intelligence right there are no truly evil people that are dumb right the the most evil are intelligent and they have figured out how to put their differences aside and make this world work for them where they extract the maximum amount of wealth property children Right, like cattle, uh, traffic uh, teenagers, the youngest of us, right, when they're in their sexual peak, uh, you know, for sex slaves. They ain't no 60-year-old sex slaves. It's, it's usually 99.9% .9 21 and under, right? As they get older, they get cast out. Um, but, I mean, and it's lucrative. And there, I saw this thing, that I think it's complete bullshit, where uh, child trafficking and... and, and Human trafficking is uh, second to drug trafficking. Nah, it's first. I mean, the drugs pale in comparison in price for decent sex slaves and children, young children, to satisfy these sick fucks. And then, like I said, it's big business because, and it costs tons of money because you don't factor in, like, there's no disposal fees for drugs, 
right? There's no you, heroin, cannabis, whatever the hell it is, meth, you know, there's no disposal fee. Uh, for children, there's a pretty, there's a disposal fee. You know, factor that part into it. There's mortuaries and, and other things, you know, you don't just, I mean, you, you got to get rid of the bodies. There, it's industry. It's a huge, ugly, disgusting industry. And they figured out how to make money off of the disposal of the bodies by, by using technology to match DNA so that you can sell the organs uh, to various donors or, or to various, as donors to various people who need them around the world. Fact. I mean, it's disgusting, sick, and wrong, and it needs to fucking come to an end. And you gotta quit pretending that it's not happening. And it turns out a lot of people that you like and that I like are involved. Because if they're a famous face, there's a very good chance that they're part of the club. And the club is run or uh, administered, let's say, by uh, various three-digit or three-letter agencies. CIA, FBI, NSA, etc. Well, factions they're in. And like I said, all of that boils down to basically two factions. There's these duelists, they love this thing, right? There's two. So faction A and faction B. Uh, faction A, again, satanic pedophiles, uh, hero with a thousand faces. Faction A is in every country, in every state in the union. Uh, like it or not, there's faction A. Uh, they control the media for the most part. They are in most of our uh, high power agencies. Uh, they are uh, definitely infiltrated the military. Uh, and it's, again, not just in the United States, all around the world. Take a look at some of the documentaries in Britain. It's broken there first. And here we are desperately trying to pretend that it's not an American problem. Okay, then we got Faction B, which is still part of the Kazarian Mafia. Don't tell me Trump's a clean boy. He ain't no clean boy. Uh, these guys over here. And this, and then, we, you know, we got to bring this whole other thing. Is that there's more to this whole story than just what goes on here on planet Earth in this one dimension, in this one space and time. Because there's a lot more going on. Like I said, you see and hear and feel less than 3% of the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, and you have no language for anything outside that little tiny piece of the electromagnetic spectrum that you can see with these five senses. You don't even have words. And then on top of that, they tell you what the words that you have mean. And then more than that, they tell you the connotations of the words, and they tell you what it means when somebody uses the words. Like, you are programmed from the time you are... Open your fucking eyes until the time you lay down and die... Uh, there's programming being you're bombarded with it and if you don't figure out how to program your own mind with meditation or prayer or you know so that you program your own thinking uh, you going to be a slave for the rest of your life because you will give them money when you don't owe them money you will uh, spend money on the most atrocious vaccines and so forth to damage your kids and then make you spend more right you will do what you're programmed to do uh, so if you don't figure out how to program your own mind, they're happy to do it for you. Happy, right? Most of the thoughts you think aren't even your own thoughts. They were put there. I mean, just begin, I mean, awareness, right? 101, begin meditation and become aware of your thoughts. And you will realize that most thoughts you think aren't even your thoughts. But that's beside the point. The point is you need to begin thinking thoughts about what we do about these satanic pedophiles and wake up to the fact that these pedophiles, it is uh, not just myth. It is not conspiracy theory. It is a world, it is a human problem. Here in the United States, right? Think globally, act locally. Here in the United States, we take care of our own house before we even start thinking about taking care of other people's houses. And people getting fed up with our fucking attorney general and our president and and this whole, right? At least the one thing about Trump is every other president was aware this was a problem and they were either part of the problem or looking the other way. Going back a long, long ways. Like, you know, 1800s long ways. Right? These guys didn't just start, but the, lately they have gotten out of control and their number had grown now, Trump is actually, looks like he's doing something about it, but he's still faction, part of the faction. He's still part of the club. He just happens to be in faction B. 
Now, how much in uh, you know is he uh, responsible for, and how dirty are his hands uh, to climb to the level that he's at? I do not know, because it looks like a lot of the stuff that they uh, trumped up about Trump so far has just been that bullshit and lies. And it's hard now. We have no fucking media. Uh, we have no, I mean, trusted sources. Very difficult to uh, discover uh, what's a plant, what's real, uh, what you know. We have no, I mean, investigative journalism. I mean, the, it's basically guys on YouTube and guys, that, right? They, I mean, the water filter salesman and supplement salesman is a, is a hell of a good source of news, which is not saying much for the state of the news in the United States. I mean, no offense to the, the InfoWars guys because they're doing the best they can with what they got. But, you know, they got a narrow track to run on because you notice the minute they started talking about Pizzagate and pizza... And hot dogs and the fucking absolute fucking evidence we have in their own emails. Oh, he had to apologize on air. He had to flail himself. Uh, same thing with uh, Ben Swan. Ben Swan says boo one time about Pizzagate. But this is something that needs to be looked into. And he gets stuck in a desk. In Cincinnati, and every bit of his social media disappears. Like I said, once again, right? Uh, censorship, free speech. No, I mean, just based on that, he should be able to talk about Pizzagate. Just based on the fact that we have a first fucking amendment in this country. No, no, we don't. Right? You don't. We don't have any kind of rule of law in this country. We don't have a government that looks out and upholds the Constitution. We don't have citizens that look out for and uphold the Constitution. We got citizens that, I don't like what you wrote, so I'm going to erase it off my Facebook page. So if you got no problem with that, then you have no problem with Twitter censoring, and you have no problem with YouTube censoring, and you have no problem, because you do it yourself. So you'll silence another. And again, if you haven't, uh, you know, I've been kicked off of Twitter now. <laughs> I've been kicked off of Twitter now. I've been kicked off of uh, Facebook. I can't wait. It won't be long before they kick me off here on YouTube. Uh, because you can't talk about the satanic pedophiles that are playing this game. And they're playing the win. And so far, uh, the average dweeb uh, American, it just blows my mind after your 12 years of indoctrination, uh, it can be blatant right in front of you, and you can't read a fucking email. It's not something the Russians made up. Right? I got into an argument just recently on Facebook. And this blue-pilled, normie, dumb, ridiculously ignorant bitch uh, is just, you know, Pizzagate, it's a myth. There's nothing, to, there's nothing to it. They just made that up so that Hillary wouldn't get elected. Uh, really? Maria, uh, what's her name? Abramovic? I mean, that's a witch. Right in front of you. Oh, we'll call it art. I mean, it's just painful what's going on. Uh, right in front of your face. Right in front of your faces. They were writing about it in their emails. They are wearing the symbols. They put the symbols all over the fucking place because they know you're too ignorant to know what the symbols are, but they know what the symbols are so they can, oh, yeah, he's one of the club. Oh, he's in the club. Oh, she's in the club. Entire music videos. Books. Buildings. All right in front of your face. And if you look around with some new eyes, you'll see. And yeah, it's daunting. Because you realize that if they got money and power, and the guys with money and power own the guys with the guns and the badges, and then there's little OS. That's why, that's why they don't want an armed populace. They want a monopoly on force. Why do they want a the monopoly on force? So they have complete control. Why do they want control? Well, then they've got you. Then they've got whatever they want. They've got your organs. They've got your money. They've got, right? Complete, do they have to work? They don't ever have to work. You work. Again, they don't guard the prisons. They don't make the coffee. They don't do a fucking thing. They don't make the automobiles. They don't build the buildings. They don't do a fucking thing but profit. And they'll tell you, oh, if it wasn't for us, right? They're pissing on your heads, telling you it's raining, and that you should be happy. But no, that's piss. Because, yeah, they own the corporations and put you to work. But they don't build anything. 
right? We do. They don't mine anything out of the ground, right? They don't, they don't do a fucking thing. We do, right? They don't slaughter the cattle. They don't grow the cattle up. They don't farm anything. They don't build the boats. They don't build the shipping. None of it, right? They keep you drilling for oil instead of giving you devices that can make energy using magnets, right? They give, you, they give you solar panels instead of devices that don't need sun. I mean, solar energy and wind energy, it's great. And at the same time, ridiculous when we have enough physics and science now to understand plasma and electromagnetism where a bread box sized device should power your house. For like 60 years. Cost you five, six, seven thousand dollars, something like that. Make a nice profit on it. And then the thing works, I mean, power in your house for the next 60, 70 years. Nope, can't have that. That exists as we speak. And more. Oh, so much more than that. But no, they don't do any of that. They won't let you have that. They keep you digging in the dirt, right? They keep you mining, getting black lung for coal. I mean, yeah, I'm a fan of coal when you get down to it because that's a hell of a lot of energy stored in that. But at the same time, we are way, way past the need for coal. For fuck sakes, people. I mean, these guys have you five ways from Sunday. You've been deceived in a million, million ways. You don't know your history. You don't know your mathematics. You don't understand how badly you're being fucked. And guys like me come along and try and tell you, and we're the crazy ones. And I mean, and then, and then, I mean, I haven't even started going. I just pointed at the rabbit hole. You guys go look. But you want to come down some rabbit holes. And uh, I'm telling you, there is a whole lot more going on here than you might think. There's a bunch of dimensions, not just this one. There are others. Uh, I mean, it goes on. I mean, you know, and it, you start talking and you, you're the crazy person. All right. So fine. This is all there is. is the first time you're here. <laughs> Nope, you've never been here before. You'll never be here again either. Don't worry. So just work and do what we tell you and everything's going to be fine. Let us tax you. Let us you pay for this. Hey, you want you want to go fishing here? Pay for this license. Right? No, really. It's your first time. You better be good or you're going to be judged. Right? Knows when you're sleeping. <laughs> right? <laughs> Knows when you're naughty or nice. And you'll go to heaven or hell forever. Don't worry. You're never coming back. Don't worry. This is your only time here. You've never been here before. There are people that believe that with all their heart and all their soul. And they want it to be true. Okay. Who am I to say different? But maybe you read a little bit more and you see that that's pretty much a really, really, really childish assumption. That's that's a kid with... That's the same as... Uh, this is great. I was tutoring this little eight-year-old girl. And she goes, I don't believe in Santa Claus anymore. <sighs> she got a lot more waking up to do from there. And most of you are just barely past that. Ah, oh, how cute. Ah, oh, it's your first time. Oh. Again, uh, it's uh, eternal. Anybody that's written anything that it works out to be scripture knew that uh, it's there's no beginning and no end. So we, it's... Talking about creation is ridiculous when we've always been here and we're always going to be here. It's impossible. We live in an impossible place. What you are is eternal. That was the good news. Everlasting life. Not a life. Right? Well, it is a life. <laughs> it's one life that goes on forever and ever and ever. This thing comes and goes. And they got you. Right? These satanic pedophiles got you. They got you in a system where if you smoke a plant, they get your labor forever. In the meantime, they can rape us. Eh, six months. They can rape your children. Eh. What did Hastert get for raping children? Three years? Meantime, you smoke a plant, you're in for ten. What did Hillary Clinton get for her numerous crimes who else but satanic pedophiles would set it up this way if you and i did any of that stuff we'd be in jail 
they said as much. I mean, he literally, Comey said it out loud. Right? Don't you try this stuff, because if you did it, you're going to go to jail. And then some kid takes a picture of his bunk in a fucking submarine just to prove it. They put him in jail. Who else but satanic pedophiles would keep marijuana from people, little 12-year-old girls that are suing the Department of Justice? <laughs> uh, because it absolutely works to cure her seizures. And yet the government would tell her she can't. Who else but satanic, ped satanic pedophiles? Who else? Who else but satanic pedophiles would put fluoride in your water? Who else but satanic pedophiles would make you offer your children up on the altar of war and go off and fight in countries with people that have done fucking nothing to us? Who else but satanic pedophiles? Who else but satanic pedophiles would tell you that natural gas is the way to go and fracking is the way to get it, which destroys your water supply? Kill two birds with one stone. Extract energy and get rid of you guys. Because you can't live without clean water. Who else but satanic pedophiles? I mean, the list just goes on. Who else but satanic pedophiles would tell you it's getting warmer when actually it's getting colder? So you don't prepare. So now all the people in, you know, again, uh, hi, some of us were telling you this. I mean, some of it, we're telling you that what used to be uh, Chicago weather is going to make its way further and further. And what happens in Chicago is going to be way colder because that cold is coming down. Because it's getting cooler. Because sunspots are less. Because we're heading toward a minimum. And without that minimum, you get more cosmic rays. And with more cosmic rays, uh, you get these little particles that make it through our atmosphere. And when they come through the atmosphere, they make clouds. Because they cause the oxygen and the hydrogen to knock into each other and form water vapor, which is ninety more than 98% of our uh, greenhouse gas. That white cloud uh, takes the radiation, uh, that heating radiation, that he heating infrared, and it acts as a, like a blanket, uh, like a solar blanket that... Uh, reflects it off so that doesn't make it to the ground so the earth doesn't heat up so it actually gets colder uh, and it's going to be colder who else but satanic pedophiles would turn that story around into man-made global warming i mean it, it just name it who else but satanic pedophiles would lie you into war you need to wake up to the fact that they're satanic pedophiles they exist and they exist in high places and they have been ruling us. They worship demons. And that's a whole other animal. They, they're, it's, it is, again, mental construct. And you will argue with the point. And be, that, oh, those are real. Okay, they're real. Just like I'm real. <laughs> right? Okay. They're as real as I am. I'll give you that. But there isn't any out there, out there, guys. So it's mental construct. But those demons that they worship, yes, they fucking exist. Uh, they might not exist in the paradigm and the way you think because uh, you're thinking heaven, hell, uh, good, bad, uh, light, dark, and uh, demon and angel. Okay. Uh, maybe you need to expand your thinking a little bit. There's a whole lot more going on in the universe that is infinite in all directions in ways I can't even explain to you than that. That, like I said, that's a very, very primitive, childlike, fun way of trying to organize uh, this thing, if you want to call it creation. But uh, there's more to it than that. Uh, simple as that. And you can, you can stop there, and that's fine. It'll work. You can live your whole life believing that. Many, many people have lived and died over and over again believing that. But eventually, you're going to have to wake up to the fact that there might be a little bit more to that if you're going to free yourself and you're going to ascend. And there is no ascension with this. You do not ascend with this. So when you're ready to ascend, uh, you had better be prepared here, right? Because you're not taking this with nothing. Come, you come with nothing and you leave with nothing. But uh, if you want to place yourself in a more, I don't know if it's more, I don't know, you see these words don't work so well, uh, in a better, different, more advanced, uh, portion of the simulation of the mental construct, then uh, you need to prepare your mind here. And that comes, like I said, that's, um, that's beyond, that's beyond, that's above my pay grade. 
You guys figure that out for yourselves. There's a, a thousand ways to get there. There's many, 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 many roads and to get there. But I'll tell you one thing. Meditation is your primary and fastest way of advancement. But like I said, not for me to say. Uh, it is a personal thing. You guys figure it out for yourself. But these rabbit holes and the, the truths that I'm talking about, once you start figuring it out, there's just one thing going on here. It looks like a lot of, lot of different things, but it, all it is is consciousness. And the consciousness is infinite and diverse. And as we watch uh, Fortress America, uh, we see that it is more complicated or more complex and intricate than anything you could possibly imagine. This interweave, this dance of, of the, uh, all these fractals and all this, this, all this, uh, energy and creation we call consciousness, uh, busted into all its individual parts, uh, of you and me and Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and the world leaders and the way things are the way it is. Uh, it's all pretty fucking in the sun and the moon and the stars. It's all pretty fun and interesting to look at. Uh, because it's all one big fractal. And uh, we're down here. But you know what? Uh, we're not even at the end of the fractal. We're like, we're pretty far up in the fractal, actually, because it gets a whole lot more interesting further down when you start getting into the nano levels. Uh, and guess what? It goes the other way <laughs> quite a bit also. Uh, it's an interesting and fun, impossible place. Because, look, you've been watching this thing now for way too fucking long holy cow i've been going on and on again but uh it's the whole time it's been now if you watch it again it'll still be now <laughs> it's always now uh it, it's an impossible place it's now with no beginning and no end i mean and that's just the beginning of it that's just the start of it and what we have here is uh, a fascinating and fun thing so you must enter playfully this whole thing with Hillary Clinton and, and uh, the, the, you know, our government and so forth and politics, well, there's much of it, right? What's the main thing? The main thing is the love you have in your family, right? I mean, those three things, again, only the three things that come up, love, forgiveness, service to others, right? And it starts with self, right? Love self, right? Forgive self, right? The only way you can serve self is by serving others. And then if you can do those things, then you can love others, right? You can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself. That's proven. That's, that's, not, that's not me spouting philosophy. That's, you can pick that up in any textbook. Uh, you can't forgive anybody else. You can't forgive yourself. That's also proven. Pretty simple. That's why you have these religions that help you to love yourself and forgive yourself so that you can forgive others and your rent, Lord's Prayer, so on. And then again, service to others. If everybody served everybody else, what a wonderful place this would be. Right? The Aborigines had it going on for a little while there, where they didn't need money. Everybody just took care of everybody else. They didn't have an understanding of ownership of, you know, this is this is mine. Right? But anyway, we have devolved from there and we think we've moved <laughs> we think we've moved ahead. But the point is <sighs> educate self, free your own mind. Nobody else can free your mind for you, right? None but ourselves can free our mind. He wasn't just a singer, he was a prophet. And, you know, lighten up and have a good time, right? Happy 2018. Ho oli ho. player was in my friends. Educate self, educate others. Right? Find out if some of the things I'm saying here are true. If they're true and they resonate with you, share with others, educate others, right? And we're going to come out of this thing smelling like roses. Promise. Really, we are. But you can't be waiting for somebody else to do it for you. Nobody but us, right? We do our own push-ups. Ain't nobody doing our push-ups for you or for me. Uh, ain't nobody going to diet for you, right? You got to go on your own diet. Again, educate self, educate others. E pluribus unum. It's going to be awesome. Promise. <laughs>